And you know the number here is 772-221-1100. Our toll-free number is 1-888-224. What's the last number there? I can't see. 8990. Amen? So remember, call us up so we can pray with you and encourage you. But, you know, I want to talk about that this morning that uh, we, we want to share about corporate anointing. Amen? Corporate anointing. And that's what I'm talking about. Corporate anointing means, in other words, is that we're coming together. And the Bible says when we come together and ask anything in Jesus' name, it'll happen. Amen, everybody? Amen. Amen. So at this time, I'm just going to have uh, Pastor Robert introduce himself and Donnie to those the audience out there. Hey everyone, I'm Robert Castro. I'm uh, coming from uh, New Jersey, uh, minister at a church called Christ Church of Montclair. Pastor David Ireland is the pastor there, and I'm part of the uh, teaching team there, and so I'm so, so glad to be here today. Mm. Amen. Hey. I'm Minister Don Cato. I come out of Majestic Life. I serve on the Dr. Rita Tins, and I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Amen, amen, amen. You know, this morning, we come to beat up old Snaggletooth. You know, he ain't got no power and authority over you. You know that we walk with the anointing of God, but let me tell you something. The Word of God is the one that directs us. As long as you follow that Word, you're going to be all right. So I want you this morning, man, there's power and an anointing in it. I can feel it right now. I'm starting to feel it. Amen. So we want to reach out. You know that this program is about calling in and we want to uh, uh, agree with you and pray whatever your needs might be that we're here to encourage you and to build you up in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And I come, you know, that the Bible says that we don't fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against principalities that's in the air. So I, I let you know right now, snag or tooth, I'm on the air and I'm going to jack you up. Amen. So I want you to call us up. I got these powerful people that came down, uh, my pastor for many years, Pastor Robert Castro, and he wants to pray and share something with you at this point right now. So uh, put down your brooms. If you're driving in your car, raise up your radio because this is anointing and there's a power in this place right now. I feel the Holy Ghost moving right now, Pastor. Mm -hmm. I feel the Holy Hallelujah. Ghost. Come on, what, what word you got for us this morning? Well, I was thinking about when we're talking about corporate anointing and yes. the importance of The Bible says... Uh, in the book of Hebrews, it says, uh, Neglect not mm -hmm. the assembling of ourselves oh. together, which is the habit of some. Yes. Uh, the word assembling is, is a very interesting word, um, uh, you know, it, because it means the putting together of something. Assembly is Amen. not just coming together. Assembly is not just a group of people coming together. Assembly is actually being joined. Yes. You know, I was, when you think about I think about when I when my boys were younger, you know, I, I remember going to Toys R Us mm -hmm. and uh, I said, I'm going to buy them a bicycle. <laughs> and sure enough, I went to the store and I saw the bike that I wanted to buy. Uh -huh. And I said, I want that one. And they gave me the box <laughs> of, of, of the bike and I couldn't wait. I got home uh -huh. and when I opened up, there were a trillion pieces all over the floor. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what is this? And you know, when you put a bike together, there's always screws that you, yes, X screws yes, that yes. you have. <laughs> You wonder where they go, so you don't want your child to ride the bike because you feel it's unsafe because right. there's screws that are missing, even Amen. though the bike looks like it's assembled. What, mm. I'm, what I'm saying to you is this, mm -hmm. is that getting the box, right, when we got the box, the bike didn't come already together. We had to assemble it, right? Mm -hmm. We had to put the pieces together so that they, they together created, made up the bike that I originally saw right. in the store. Amen. And the Bible is our instruction book. It's our mm -hmm. assembling book. Hallelujah. But we, as the children yes. of God, right, we have to assemble. We have to be put together with yes. one another. We yes. have to be joined mm -hmm. to one another. There's a lot of people that neglect going to church. They don't want to have any, they, they just want to have church on television. But the Bible says don't neglect being assembled, being mm -hmm. put together, yeah. mm -hmm. being joined to someone else because it's in that joining that you receive life. We receive life from one. Hallelujah. So what do you say? Amen. 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 Well, I agree totally with Pastor. You know, we have to assemble ourselves. And one of the problems I, I realize in the body of Christ, 
that brings division is we often compare ourselves with one another. Mm. And when Speak we the truth, my sister. When, Go ahead. When we compare <laughs> ourselves with one another, that's yes. where we mess up because that's we take right. our eyes off of God Woo. and off of what he already put in us. Mm -hmm. right. And therefore, we don't really serve in, into a 100% capacity, ability to serve because oh. we have low self-esteem. We don't think we're, we're matching up like sister so-and-so or mm -hmm. we're not speaking like brother so-and-so. Mm -hmm. God didn't call you to be like sister so-and-so yeah, right. and be like brother so-and-so. He oh, called man. you. He called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light that you may show forth his praise. Hallelujah. So it's important that we get our eyes off of uh, what the other one is doing and focus on what God called us to do and put our hands to the plow. Yes. And don't look back. Serve. Trust God that you are already equipped for the master's Ooh, work. That's right. Assemble yourselves with the body of Christ Go and ahead. understand you are needed for that's such right. a time Ooh, as hallelujah. this. Hallelujah. Yes. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, mm -hmm. verse 14, Paul said, now the body is not made up of one part that's right Amen. but many yes if the foot should say because i am not the hand i do not belong to the body mm -hmm. right it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body mm -hmm. and if the ear that's should right. say because i am not an eye i do not belong to the body it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body yes mm -hmm. if the whole body were an eye where would the sense of hearing be mm -hmm. right and if the whole body were an ear where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has arranged the parts in the body, every mm -hmm. one of them, mm -hmm. just as he wanted them to be. Mm -hmm. Right. So it just goes into what Dawn was just mentioning, mm -hmm. how that it's folly to compare, mm -hmm. you know, because I am not the foot. You know, yes. I'm I'm an ear, but right. the ear is just as necessary as the foot. That's right. right? <laughs> and in fact, the Bible says that the parts that mm -hmm. we don't see mm -hmm. are yes. really the ones that are most needful. Yes. Think yeah. about it. You don't see your liver. No. Right. You don't. But try living without a liver. Oh. Right. Yeah. You don't see your heart, right? Mm -hmm. But try living without a heart. So mm -hmm. every one of us serves a place in the body, and mm -hmm. everyone is critical to the functioning yes. of mm -hmm. the body of Christ. You know, Amen. that's awesome. And, you know, uh, you're listening to this powerful stuff. And I just want to share this real quick. And it's just that tonight at 1 o'clock p.m., we're going to have an anniversary service at Love Wings Ministry. And we're doing it over at uh, 2000 Courtyard Circle in Port San Lucio. I invite you out to come out. They're going to be the main speakers there. And we're going to have a time of worship and fellowship. Amen. Uh, and that's what we're talking about, gathering together. But also, let me say this real quick, that you know what? No matter what you're going through, no matter what's happening in your life, Remember that God is still in control. Amen. And we want you to call up because we want to pray with you. I want them to, to give a word, a fresh word into your life right now. So you know what? But you got to make that step. You got to, you know, press that button on that phone and call us at 772-221-1100. You know, and call us. And so that way we can agree together in prayer. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one way of coming out because, like I said, we're here for one purpose only. And we come every Saturday here uh, uh, in spirit and in truth to tell you the truth and to say, you know, what no matter what you're going through God is still in control yes. but you know there's a word and there's a power and there's an anointing in this place right now and I want you to receive it they travel from all over just to come here today and to be uh, uh, encouragers and that's what we're talking about encouraging yes. one another loving yes. one another not looking at our faults or not looking at things that are happening in our life but we just want to pray for you but call me now Come on now, 772-221-1100, and we're going to put you on the air, and those pastors out there, I want you to come out too, because I'm telling you, this is the first one. I hear the phone ringing, and hold on, call. I'm going to get you right now. Amen. She's going to pass it through. Don't, and, and other, all of you all out there, don't wait till the last minute like you always do. Call me now. That's what we're here for. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So remember that God loves you. That's the main thing that we're, our hearts is about doing what God yes. calls us to do, is to speak the truth, nothing but the truth. So help That's us right. God. We come with the word of God, not our own opinion, but the word of God. Amen. Amen. All right, Paula. God bless you. You're on the air. Call you hear me? Hello? Hello? Try that phone over there, don't you? Hit that little green button right there. Yeah. Hello, you on the air? You're on the air. Hi, good morning. My name is David Calderon and my wife, Anne Marie Calderon. How you doing, my brother? What's that? How you doing, my brother? How could, how could we, what's your prayer request? Well, 
we went up with to Tennessee with a four-cylinder uh, truck that had 200,000 miles on it. And now all of a sudden, when we're back in Florida, it kind of blew up on us. The, the engine is totally blown. Mm. And uh, we're trying to um, trying to get somebody to put an engine in there. And with, all of a sudden, uh, we're running into difficulty again. Mm. We're kind of asking for prayer that we can get somebody to get an engine in there. Least expensive that we can afford. Because we're trying to get an apartment also, and mm. we're kind of like, it didn't come at the right time. And I know God's with us, mm -hmm. but uh, if I can ask for some prayer, and uh, I'm sure that, uh, you know, I'm sure that God will work this out. All right. The Bible says that when two or three are gathered and we ask anything in His name, it's going to be accomplished. So I'm going to have them, or Pastor Robert or Donnie, whichever you want to pray. Amen. And we, but I want you just to right now just to stop what you're doing. Let's let's get into to, to, to that to that mode of prayer and let's and as they pray, and just ask the Lord. Lord, we just ask yes, for Lord. our brother and his wife, Lord, mm -hmm. yes. that you will provide for their needs, Lord. Yes, my God. Uh, this is just a small thing for you. Mm -hmm. But even through this, uh, in difficult moments, you want to reveal yourself in a yes, new way, Father. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord, let this time that is trying and that is uh, confusing mm -hmm. be a time where my brother will come to a new knowledge of who you Hallelujah. are and how much you care for him and how much you want to do in his life, Father. Lord, let this time be a time where he will use it, Lord, to press into God and say, God, I, I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. And so we commit this into your hands, Lord. We believe that you're going to provide for this need and that you're going to draw our brother and, sis and sister closer to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Brother. God bless you, my brother. And anybody there, any angels listening to me out there, and you're in that area, uh, whatever you're in, my brother, where, where, where are you right now? Uh, we're on Selvitz Road and uh, heading toward Fort Pierce to go to the synagogue, the Caramel Synagogue, mm -hmm. which is a Messianic uh, synagogue. All right, my brother. Look, I'm, I'm giving a shout out to anybody who's in the area. You you heard the, the, the thing there, and God said that we're to move and to encourage and build one another. So any man, anybody's out there that's a brother or sister and you see the brother, stop over. Give him a hand. Amen? And this is what we're about. We're about helping each other and loving each other, not yes. just by talk, but by doing the Amen. word, not just Amen. talking the talk. Amen. So I pray that anybody's out there, the sound of my voice, help out the brother. All right, my brother. God bless you. God bless you, too. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. Anybody else out there, call us, 772-221. You know, God... You know, Donnie and, and Pastor Ralph, mm -hmm. God is so concerned about every little thing in our lives. Yeah, you know, the absolutely. Bible says that he watches over us even as we sleep. So yeah. can you imagine that? He's watching over us. And he cares about every little detail every in detail. our lives. So, you know, any prayer, whatever it is that you're going through, you know, uh, just call us up right now, 772-221-1100, as they continue to give you the word. But we'll stop. If you call in, we're going to stop and we're going to pray for you. And, you know, we want to be encouraged. Amen. And, it, and uh, one more thing is that if you don't have a local church, you can come to Love Wings Ministry. We're